what is going on guys welcome to my channel my name is Ray the owner of Finitech detailing marine and auto here we bring you a 2016 Toyota Tundra Platinum Edition I personally didn't even know they made a Platinum Edition in Toyota Tundra so this was new to me and I'll tell you what I was very pleased with the vehicle it is a very very beautiful we are going to be doing a complete detail ceramic coating of the exterior right here we are going to the pre rinse wash basically we're going to rinse off any loose debris and dirt to make sure we don't further swirl the paint and create more scratches on the paint we are also going to be rinsing off the wheel wells, rims, and tires just to take off the loose brake dust and debris from the rims as well because, you know, brake dust and dirt are all over the rims and tires and trying to take off as many bugs from the front end as possible with a pressure washer. Here we are going to be spraying down our wheels and tires with our wheel and tire detail cleaning Meguiar's spray um we dilute this one to one you can dilute it to other ratios but we prefer one to one at least at least on this vehicle depending on the vehicle and the condition of the tires and rims we change the dilution of course we are going to attack these rims with our barrel brush going to go ahead and be able to hit the barrels pretty nice and easily with this brush um if you guys do not have one and you guys are just diyers i definitely recommend it right now we're going to hit it with our tire our rim brush now my apologies and this is just going to hit the face and you know a little nooks and crannies that that could not hit with the barrel brush after that detail brush around the lug nuts around the face if where our other brush cannot hit it and you cannot forget these wheel wells make sure you spray it down with an APC or what we did we sprayed it down with our wheel and tire cleaner and with the same brush we use our on our rims we use on our wheel wells uh, we also have a longer one there I just prefer the short handle one that's just me sometimes I use a long one Right here, our stiff tire brush to make sure we agitate and get rid of all of the dirt on these tires. So guys, let me go ahead and give you an overview about myself. Um, I've been in the detailing industry, marine and automotive, for somewhere around 10 to 12 years. So I am not a beginner. I wouldn't even consider myself a complete expert but I consider myself, you know, maybe intermediate, closer to the expert range. Um, let's see, I created my actual business in 2016, and I've been working for multiple companies previously. Um, I started off, you know, doing my own cars, my own boats. My friends wanted me to do theirs, so of course I went ahead and did theirs. And I wouldn't even charge them, you know, I just did it for free because I enjoyed it. Just like now, I enjoy it, that's why I do it and I really like what I do. Right now, we hit the entire vehicle with a foam bath and now we're hitting it with small detail brushes, really, really soft detail brushes to make sure you don't swirl and scratch the paint up. Gonna hit the rivets in the fender um, the fender flares, the trim around the doors, any emblems, the trim around the windows, the door handles, anything of that sort, along with the grill. I forgot to actually press the record button while I was doing the foam bath, so my apologies on that, guys. So once we're done with that process, we're going to go in our, into our two bucket wash method with our grit guards inside the buckets.
Now, when washing the vehicle with our wash mat, you want to make sure that you go in straight lines, not in circles, to try and minimize the swirl marks that you would create on a vehicle. Because believe it or not, you get the most swirl marks on while you're actually washing the vehicle itself because you can get dirt and debris trapped inside your wash mitt and drying the vehicle vehicle because the same thing can get dirt and some debris inside the, the your chamois or you know your big microfiber um, drying cloth and then just mar and scratch up the paint and you definitely don't want to do that so make sure you are aware of that and after every panel panel and a half depending on how dirty the vehicle is make sure you go ahead and give the buck make sure you go ahead and give the wash mitt a dip inside your bucket here you're seeing me dry off the entire vehicle with one of these microfiber drying towels i absolutely love these make sure you guys pick these up these are oversized drying towels not the super duper small ones and small ones will work, but you're probably going to need, you know, a couple of them. I just like this big oversized one because you can just dry an entire truck like this in no time and not have to wring anything out. Here, since we have a decent amount of embedded particles inside of this paint, we are going to go ahead and be hitting this with a clay bar. This is a medium grade clay bar, nothing too crazy. I don't always hit every vehicle with the clay bar. If it's not that bad, I just hit it with an iron decontamination spray. But in this case, it was just a little too far gone, I would say, to hit it with just a decontamination spray. Here, we're going to actually move into our polishing stages. We're going to compound this sucker up with our Rupes D8 polisher, 15 millimeter throw. That's the type of polisher I have. And we are matching it with a Rupes coarse foam pad. The compound that I'm using right here is actually the Meguiar's Ultra Cut Pro compound. Um, I like this compound. We are actually going to be testing out some new ones soon, like the Rupes, because there is a lot of great reviews on it. I have not too many complaints on the Meguiar's, the finish is absolutely outstanding on the Meguiar's compound and polish when teamed up. But if you're not constantly trying new products, you can never, you will never find out if another product is better. So if you guys want to see a Meguiar's Pro versus the DA um, compound and polish, let me know down in the comment section and like this video because that is a future video that I will definitely definitely get to doing. So here you guys see I do quite a few passes over each section to make sure it comes out as best as possible. I check my work and if it needs to be done some more, I go ahead and do it more. I do not apply too much pressure, allow the machine and your compound to do the work. Here you guys are going to see me compound the entire vehicle along with polishing the vehicle. Um, most of the time, it all depends how you guys do it. I compound a decent part maybe like on this truck I did half of the vehicle and then I polished it just so I don't have to go around the entire vehicle and polish it again I changed to a polishing finishing pad it's the yellow one by Meguiar's and like I said I use the Meguiar's finishing polish the pro for the best finish when you match up with the compound as least I think so like I said the DA compound and polish is definitely something I'm going to look into and make a future video on. Here you guys are going to see the part you guys probably have been waiting for the entire time, the actual ceramic coating process. 
I forgot to actually record the polishing of the entire vehicle, so my apologies on that. Along with the IPA wipe down of the entire vehicle, you want to really make sure you get the IPA wipe down sprayed down on the entire vehicle before you put any type of ceramic coating on the vehicle to make sure you get rid of any polishing residue, any body oils, or any oils in general on the vehicle to make sure you have the best adhesion and the best bond with the ceramic coating to the actual paint. Once we're done with that, you see here we are going to actually start dressing the tires on this vehicle. Right here we have Meguiar's Hyper Dressing. This is a water-based product and by far my favorite any type of water-based products I am a huge fan of and this one I really 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 like you can dilute it um, right here we usually dilute it about one to one um, for customers that like a high glossy shine for customers that like even more of a shine we don't dilute it at all and for customers that barely like a shine that just like a matte finish you know we dilute it a little bit more but here he specified to us that he likes a decent shine, so we went ahead and just diluted it one to one. We also use this to go ahead and dress our fender, uh, not our fender, our wheel wells right here is how the vehicle turned out. Let me know if you guys like the way the vehicle turned out. Please like and like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. We have so many more videos coming to you guys, more detailing. I'm actually building my 2004 G35, probably going to put it on boost. So if you guys are going to like to see that, make sure you guys like this video and we will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much.